What is up everybody and welcome back to the mid-level media channel your hub for everything physical media and entertainment i am ken and today guys i've got a huge haul video prepared for you all i don't know what it is but it seems like like every thursday because i work weekends i work friday saturday sunday like 13 14 hour days every thursday like i get all my stuff in like all at once right before i go back to work and then i can't watch anything till like the next monday so it's always disappointing but also very exciting because i actually got the stuff in so i immediately ran down here a lot of this stuff came out this week so i've got all kinds of things i've got keno lorber stuff i've got stuff from paramount i've got my vinegar syndrome uh haul in so i am very excited to get into all of this stuff but before we get into it guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we talk about blu-rays and 4ks and physical media only the movies that you love every single day here on this channel so if you like that kind of stuff definitely hit the subscribe button also hit the like button and then comment down below guys what is some stuff that, that you've been picking up recently have you been taking part in the keno lorber sale did you get your vinegar syndrome stuff in uh yet let me know in that comment section below so let's see let's get right into it uh let me show off black christmas so i have been waiting to get this one in. i was hoping to get it in last tuesday on release day but amazon delayed it and i got it in today so this is why i reviewed krampus on the channel i think yesterday when i put this up i should have already reviewed krampus but i will be reviewing this one this week uh for sure 100 but yeah no i love this movie this is a great movie a classic horror film from 1974 i believe when this came out i love the i just love the classic poster like scream factory I wasn't 100% sure about it at first because I love the commission artwork of the Screen Factory stuff, but I don't know. The more and more I've been seeing of the Screen Factory 4Ks, the more and more I appreciate this classic poster art uh, standard template they've been doing for all of their 4Ks. But just awesome stuff right there. And then I'll show you the uh, back of it right here. We'll kind of zoom in. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. So let me uh, let me take this out. I will 100% be doing a review for this. 100%. Um, and then we'll look at the disc artwork on the inside. Love that disc artwork. Just the, the classic house right there. And then uh, it's been a while since I've seen this. I watched it for the first time, I think, in 2018. So it's been about four years since I've seen it. Can't wait to watch it in 4K. Um, but yeah, definitely going to be doing a review on this. Let me see if... The, I, don't, I don't believe... No, this does not have reversible cover art, but there's the inside of that. But Black Christmas on 4K. Super excited to watch this one. Super excited to get Carrie on 4K in as well next week. Very excited for that. Um, and Paramount uh, did send me... Hold on, I'll go I'll go into this one. And then next up, I got this... Um, and next up, this one came in today as well. Adaptation, this new Sony release, a movie starring Nicolas Cage, uh, directed by Spike Jones, who also directed the movie Her with Joaquin Phoenix. So I've heard great things about this movie. The cast is insane. Nicolas Cage and Meryl Streep together in a movie. That has to be awesome. Chris Cooper is also a super um, underrated uh, actor as well. Screenplay by Charlie Kaufman, who also did Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. So I love this. I love how Sony is doing different slip covers than their uh you know artwork underneath or they're doing like their own artwork basically on the slip and then they're doing the classic like poster art inside like no other studio is really doing that other than sony so i think that's pretty cool but yeah adaptation on 4k i'm sure this restoration looks amazing like sony is just the quality at this point like when you hear sony is putting out a 4k like you've come to expect a certain level of quality so i'm sure this one's going to look fantastic. I don't know if I'm going to get around to reviewing this one. I really want to. I just don't know if I'm going to get around to reviewing it or not. I don't know if enough of you guys would be interested in it. But again, if you want me to review Adaptation, let me know in that comment section. I'll definitely let your voice be heard. If I get enough people, maybe I'll just go ahead and say F it and do it anyway. Um, but yeah, really, really cool release. I'm definitely going to check this one out, hopefully this month uh, for sure. This is one I've been wanting to watch for the longest time. Really cool uh, disc artwork in there as well yeah it's the poster but one thing i'm finding that's interesting hold on a second now sony is only doing 4ks what is this what kind of crap is this paramount was doing this and now they've started we'll get into that here in a second they've started to put the blu-rays back in their 4ks but now sony's leaving the blu-rays out what's going on here guys hold on now sony i don't believe they did that with i know what you did last summer I don't think they did. I think they had the Blu-ray and the 4K. So this is definitely 
Um, interesting. And uh, yeah, you only have, the, they don't, maybe it's because they don't have a lot of special features. I don't know, but they only have the behind the scenes and the swamp and then the theatrical trailer. So I'm excited to watch this nonetheless. I mean, I, I always want the Blu-ray just to have that option. Um, but you know, the 4K is what I'm gonna watch for sure anyway. So adaptation on 4K. Now let me get into some stuff that I have received in to review and talk about on the channel from Paramount. And I, they did send me uh, 48 hours uh, on 4K. So I am really looking forward to I watched this for the first time this year for Buddy Cop Month on the channel. I love this movie and I have a controversial opinion. Maybe it depends on what side you lie on, I guess. Uh, but I think this is Eddie Murphy's best 80s movie. I think this is Eddie Murphy. Well, Coming to America is probably his best. I think it's his best 80s buddy cop movie. If you want to call it a buddy cop movie because Eddie Murphy's not really a cop in this film. But I like this movie better than than uh, Beverly Hills Cop. I think his chemistry with Nick Nolte is freaking awesome in this movie. I think they're so good together. Definitely better than him and Judge Reinhold in, in Beverly Hills Cop. I think Beverly Hills Cop is just super... Super overrated, in my opinion. This is the movie right here. This is Eddie Murphy's best, like, cop uh, action film, in my opinion. But 48 Hours is phenomenal. A film directed by Walter Hill, who also did The Warriors. Uh, he's done so many great movies. I've just been discovering more of his work recently. Really been enjoying him as a filmmaker. And then we'll show the back right there. Really awesome. Really awesome uh, images on the back. They did a good job with this artwork, I think. This is pretty cool artwork by... By Paramount, but let's crack this open. And again, this does Paramount's been only doing the 4K and a lot of their stuff, and now they're starting to put the Blu-rays back in. Now Sony's taking the Blu-ray. What is going on? Do I need to make an another video about how physical media is a mess? Like everybody's just doing such different things. I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, but let's see. I'll take out the digital code. I'll give that away at a later date. And you got the 4K, and you got the Blu-ray inside. But yeah, I'm really liking this slipcover. Uh, really digging that slipcover. All right, let me put this back in. I'm already talking way too much. I'm, I was trying to make this video kind of quick, but they also sent me uh, the double pack of 40. So I got two copies of 48 hours. This is a four disc set with two Blu-rays, two 4Ks. And uh, this is 48 hours and another 48 hours on 4K. I guess they didn't have the standalone of another 48 hours. So they sent this to me and said, not complaining, I'm glad to have it, but really awesome, really awesome looking set. It's a little bit thicker, which is cool for sure. Then I'll show you the back right there. We'll zoom in. Go ahead and take it out of the slip cover. I've got stuff falling everywhere. Stuff falling everywhere. Let's take it out of the out of the wrap so I can show you the the inside. Now imagine that you probably yeah you get the digital code with this as well. And then we'll take this out. So yeah, pretty basic here. You got the you got the forty eight hours. You got the the Blu-ray, the 4K. It's probably, I don't know, this isn't coming apart. All right, so you got the 4Ks and then you got the Blu-rays there. So really cool that they, you know, do this because I feel like anybody else would just like stack the discs on both sides and that would be the end of it, but they actually have these in the middle. Uh, so that's pretty cool for sure. But yeah, 48 Hours movies. I actually have not seen another 48 Hours, so I'm looking forward uh, to checking that one out for sure for the first time. Now, I haven't heard the best things about it. People have said it's not as good as the first one for sure. I've heard some people say it's pretty good though. It's pretty fun. Uh, these other ones I'm getting ready to show off, I've already shown them off on the channel. I actually showed them off on a live stream I did a few nights ago, but I know that not everybody watches my live stream, so I wanted to show them off again here. Now, this one I did get from Paramount. Uh, so this is Reacher, the complete first season. I believe this is an Amazon original. Uh, TV series, and I've heard some really good things about this, so I do want to check it out, but that is Reacher, and I think that this is available this upcoming week, I believe December uh, the 13th, so you can get this one in store. So I am really excited to have this, because again, I've heard good things about it, and it'll give me a show to kind of watch on my own, because my wife's not going to be into watching that at all. I also received in Mad God, uh, and this was sent to me by RLJE, this is the Steel Book. Really cool steel book. Now, I've heard some very conflicting things about this movie. Some people that watched it said it's awful, and some people that watched it said it's a masterpiece. So it's all over the place. I cannot wait to watch it myself and see where my opinion lies. But right there on the inside, you got some cool disc art. Uh, but this is a stop motion movie that was made by Phil Tibbet. Uh, Tibbet, that is apparently 30 years in the making. So very interesting. 
very interesting but cool steel book for sure this is uh this one actually came out this week so you can get that one now it's available now i'll try to link everything down below in the description so you guys can get to amazon easily and purchase it if you want to lionsgate also sent me a copy of pearl i'm happy to get this with the original pearl slip cover i did get the walmart edition as well uh, but really cool. I love the slipcover on this. It's nice and it's a little, it's not really like embossed, but like certain parts of it are glossy. Like Mia Goss actually glossy and the rest of it's kind of a matte finish. So that's kind of cool uh, that they did that. And I'll show you the, I'll show you the spine. I'll give you a little spine action on Pearl right there. But yeah, this movie is awesome though. I saw this in theaters. I am one of the few, I don't feel like this is a hot, I, I feel like this is a hot take, but I don't feel like this is a popular opinion. I like this movie better than the next. I just think it's a better, uh, more well-made movie, a well-made story. And this movie actually makes me like X a little bit better. Uh, so I will say that about it. So that's Pearl. I also got Pennywise, The Story of It. Now this is a, um, I think Cinedime put this one out. Now the interesting thing, I actually learned this on the live stream I did the other night, the round table live stream, is that this is the first in a new line uh, from Cinedime. So if you see on the, I'm trying to let that focus a little bit. So if you see on the spine right there, you actually have a number one. Come on, focus, focus, damn it. Well, it almost focused. Uh, but anyway, you have a number one. So this is a new numbered series, a collector's uh, edition of Pennywise, the story of it. And Terrifier 2 is supposed to be the number two in this line. That's coming out uh, later this month. So I thought that was pretty cool. And again, if, if you guys are interested in collecting, if you have OCD and you gotta collect every single number, uh, just know that when you buy Pennywise, the story of it, you are getting yourself, what you're getting yourself into. You gotta collect all the synodoms now and Terrifier 2's coming out. So this is a line that I might actively, as long as I you know, continue to have interest in the titles they're putting out, I might actively start to collect for this uh, new line from Cenodon. Pretty cool stuff right there, but that's one way to get collectors into your stuff. You put a number on it, so very smart by them uh, to do that. And we also got Emily the Criminal here. This is a movie starring Aubrey Plaza. Now, I know they just put this one on Netflix, but it is $12.99 uh, to get this vertical entertainment release. I'm a physical media guy, so I'm glad to have it in the collection. And my wife did want to watch this one, so I purchased it uh, so we could watch that at some point. Now, I did get my Kino Lorber stuff in. I've only got three pickups here, uh, three 4Ks that I got from the Kino Lorber sale so far. I don't know if I'm going to jump back into it or not and get anything else i'm kind of i've just kind of been spending way too much money i really don't need to to get into any more sales but there is some stuff i do want from the kino larber stuff so i'm going to try to get back into it before uh, the sale ends for sure but i'll show you all what i have here i did catch up on some of the 4k releases that came out this year i got touch of evil now this one came out all the way back in march and i think when it came out this was like 50 bucks almost or something so i think i ended up getting this one for I think this was like 23 or 24 in the sale. So I thought that was worth it. Went and picked up Touch of Evil on 4K. Definitely heard some great things about this movie. Also got M. Bruges. I was wanting to pick this one up as well. Uh, starring Colin Farrell. I think this was uh, directed by the same guy that did Three Billboards, Martin McDonough. So yeah, heard great things about that one. So I picked that one up in 4K. And I also got the usual suspects in 4K. I did not grab this one when it first came out. So I went ahead and picked that one up. So that's my Kino Lover release. And now let's get into... Uh, something I'm very excited about. I was excited about all this stuff I talked about, but this, I, these I'm, I'm extremely, this is my, this is my Vincent order, my vinegar syndrome order. And some really cool stuff just came out from vinegar syndrome. And I'm excited. I'm just becoming, I talk about this all the time. I'm almost get. I'm almost to the point where I'm getting ready to sign up for the uh, vinegar syndrome subscription service in 2023. I feel like that's a bad idea, but I, I really want to do it. Um, okay, so nice. They package your stuff so nice, uh, nice and you know, in the in the in the paper, paper wrap. So I'm pretty sure both of the releases are in here. Yes, they are both in here. Uh, really excited about this. Really excited about both of these. All right, one of these I pre-ordered I think in September when it was first announced, but uh, I'll save the best for last. I got Freeway. Not that Freeway is not good. I got Freeway on 4K right here. Film starring Kiefer Sutherland and Reese Witherspoon. I think this came out in 1996, the same year that Reese did um, Fear with uh, Mark Wahlberg, which I love that movie. I've been watching that movie since I was a kid. Awesome image on the back right there. I don't, I don't know the context of that. I think that's Kiefer Sutherland. Damn, how does he end up like that? Um, but really cool. Like Kiefer looks so creepy on that cover, but I love the cover of this. Haven't heard much about it, but... From, by all accounts, like this is actual, like a legitimately good movie. Vinegar Syndrome, please keep doing good movies and I will keep purchasing from you uh, because, you know, I don't want all that 70s, 
70s, 80s trash that you probably picked up for, for 50 cents. I know a lot of people like it. I don't mean, everybody gets mad at me when I say that. But like I said, I'm becoming a fan. So it's like, I kind of want that stuff uh, just to get it in for the, for the packaging. Uh, but this is, damn, this is hard to get into. Uh, I got to be real careful here. All right, so we're getting into it. I'm ripping the plastic off. I gotta be careful here. I was trying to trying to go hard into it. Sometimes I try to get through this stuff too quickly. I don't wanna damage anything. And I always just throw plastic all around the room when I do these unboxings. But right there, you got the 4K. And you, got, you can, of course, pick this up without the slipcover. And the cool thing about Vinegar Syndrome is on their site, you can pick, you can either do slipcover or you can do non-slipcover. And they actually have a difference between the two prices. So you can get this for a little bit cheaper if you go non-slipcover. But cool stuff. I'll kind of zoom in on the on the back of that right there. And then on the inside, you got some disc art. You got the uh, the 4K and the Blu-ray in here. Let's make sure everything's there. And then you got some reversible artwork as well. Some reversible artwork as well. And I imagine that's the original poster of Freeway. So yeah, really looking forward to watching this one. And it's it's quite possible. Again, I can't promise reviews for everything, but it's quite possible. I'll be doing a review for this one on the channel uh, within the next couple of weeks or so. So definitely look out for that. A review that I will most certainly 100% be doing a review for um, because I've never seen this classic 80s movie that people are going to be appalled when I say I haven't seen it uh, is Roadhouse. I have not seen Roadhouse and I'm going to get to watch it for the first time on 4K. This edition, this is a part of their uh, what they call VSU line. And I can try to show you the number right there, but VSU number four, this is the fourth one. I actually have now three out of the four because I have Cloak and Dagger and I have Beastmaster because a very generous subscriber sent those to me. Um, so I have three out of the four. I think the only one I need out is, is Six String Samurai, I think is what it's called. So these additions are so awesome. They are so awesome. They are magnetic cases. And uh, yeah, let's open this up magnetic case that opens up. Did I open it up the right way? I think I opened it up the wrong way. Uh, so yeah, right there. Look at this. Look at that. Magnetic. You open it and look what's on the inside. Look what's on the inside. You see Patrick Swayze just standing there looking all, looking all hunky. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Did I show you all the back of this yet? This is so nice. I, I, I that's why I'm like, falling in love with the vinegar syndrome like between this and texas chainsaw massacre 2 and and amityville like god they're just they're knocking it out of the park this year this is like awesome oh my god um and there you go i've heard great thing double deuce double deuce live music jasper and yeah this is i could just i could just show this off like all day like this is so freaking cool i love it um, okay, so yeah, you got Patrick Schwer. And this is another uh, title that Shout Factory put out a Blu-ray for. So this is another title that Vinegar Syndrome took from the Shout Factory catalog. So yeah, I'll zoom in on that. It says something on the back, not really sure what it says. Look at it, what is he doing there? Is he practicing some Kung Fu? Oh my goodness. And we'll kind of flip through this booklet a little bit. I know he punches a lot of throats in this movie. His name's like Dalton or something. Is that what it is? Look at him. Oh my God. But yeah, nice little booklet here. Nice little booklet uh, for sure. You got another image of him and the other actress in the film. Awesome stuff. And then you got the actual like 4K case. They have a case inside of a case, which is awesome. Kind of show, show you all the back right there. Show you the spine. I love, there's no slip covers that are nicer than vinegar. So, like these are durable. Like these things ain't getting um, these things ain't getting dented and ripped and scuffed very easily. Like you have to really try to rip a vinegar syndrome, uh, slip cover. All right, let's, uh, let's get into this one. That was actually easy to cut into. Freeway was not. All right. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I'm disappointed. I don't get to watch any of this stuff though until next week. Roadhouse is a top priority. I'm going to be watching this one probably first. It's probably Black Christmas and then it's Roadhouse. Uh, but this looks like it is a three disc set. Um, so you do have the, the 4K right here. And then you got another Blu-ray and then you got another Blu-ray inside. Imagine that other Blu-ray has uh, some special features. So 
I'm pretty sure this contains some new special features in it, but I could be wrong um, in, that, uh, in that assumption. And let me go ahead and flip this. You have the classic, the classic Roadhouse poster art on the inside. And then we'll flip that again. I'll show you all the special features. I don't know if I showed that off or not. We'll kind of scroll down a little bit so you guys can see everything. Pause if you need to. And yeah, I, I'm blown away. Like I'm just, I'm always blown away every time I get a vinegar syndrome package. I don't care if I get trash. I think I'm, I think I'm doing that subscription service in 2023. At least I like to think I'm doing it. Um, it's a lot of money. So I don't know. I really want to though. I really want to. And that would make for some really fun content, I think, in 2023 on the channel. Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know two things. Do you want me to review adaptation? And do you want me to sign up for the Vinegar Syndrome subscription service in 2023? Let me know that in the comment section below. But guys, that is that is my haul. Like I said, I got some, I got a lot of good stuff. That is my haul. Appreciate you guys watching. Again, I will try to review and talk about as many of these as possible. Thank you all for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Uh, comment down below. Uh, turn on the bell notifications. Follow me on my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description. And we'll see you next time.